You've seen the schedule. So let's not waste each other's time here because we don't have a lot of time doing the hard stuff that we need to do to get to where we want to go. This is about winning. It's about winning the world championship, period. It's time for another edition of the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy inside the Globe Life studio here at the Star in Frisco. Bill Jones, along with Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy, as the Cowboys hit the road this week, taking on the New England Patriots, looking for win number five in a row and coach against a Patriots team that got a come from behind victory last week against Houston. They're two and three. However, Kind of like last week, uh, it, you know, they had two games where they lost by a total of three points. They could just as easily be four and one. I think that's our league is, you know, definitely more so than ever this year. I mean, every one of these games is coming down to the end. I, I think it's, you know, a big part of why you need to spend a little extra time on the beginning and the end of the games. And um, I really look for this game to be no different. Uh, it's, it's a unique opportunity for us to, to go up north uh, to the northeast. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, we, we've been indoors and have played in really nice weather, you know, these first five contests, so a chance to get, you know, outside and play a, you know, a physical, disciplined football team. Um, you know, I think it'll be great preparation for us when, you know, we have to go to Washington and, you know, Philadelphia and in New York at the end of the year. So really looking forward to the contest. And uh, playing against a franchise that's had a remarkable run the last couple of decades. Let's start with uh, Bill Belichick and, and your respect for him because it has been something now in his 22nd year with New England, 47th year in the league. What is it that makes him so special? Well, I mean, he's uh, so consistent. I mean, I mean, you know, no one's done it at, at the level that he's done it this long. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, we're all chasing championships. He, I mean, he has set the bar extremely high. So, uh, but yeah, the thing I've always enjoyed uh, about the competition, you, you, you know, the type of game you're getting into. I mean, this is going to be a physical, physical football game. It's going to be a game that's going to be played above the 2.3 seconds on each and every play. So there's going to be a lot of second, third reaction uh, wins that we're going to have to have. So uh, they, they have a style that they like to play, uh, they, they're, they're you know, game plan specific each week. So we'll see a lot of scheme, you know, our defense will, that will be specific to, you know, how we've been playing defensively. And, and uh, I look for them to try to really challenge us, you know, challenge our offense. And uh, your defense getting so many takeaways. So let's talk about the quarterback for New England, uh, Mac Jones. Uh, what's been most impressive to you about him his first five games in this league? I would say the command, uh, you know, when you, when you look at the, the way they play in just the, where it's a different game plan each and every week, you know, and, and you know, they're doing some more two back hardball running. So um, the physicality of it and, you know, he's, he's definitely in charge and he looks like he's a very good grasp of what they're asking him to do. It's uh, been remarkable what Trayvon Diggs has done this season now with six picks in five games. But how about Anthony Brown last week? Yeah. He uh, got his second pick in a, a pick six at that. I just love that the, the whole emotion on the sideline uh, to put the icing on the cake uh, of that victory last week with that. I uh, just love the way the, the whole team's playing, but, you know, everybody loves A.B. I mean, that was just such a, you know, icing on the cake play. And it just, uh, I, I think it, the, the, the feeling, obviously, you know, of the play, but the feelings everybody has for him. Uh, that was that was exciting, and uh, boy, he's probably been one of our most consistent players so far this year. All right, we're just getting started on this edition of the Mike McCarthy Show. Up next, it's David Moore of the Dallas Morning News as we take a closer look at these Patriots. Uh, like my role here is to help the players play as well as we can get. So, uh, make no mistake, this is not, you know, me and that. I, this is me just helping us be as good as we can be and we'll, we'll have our handfuls they've got uh, you know good group that are playing well and uh, we'll go up there and we will fight the Mike McCarthy show presented by Reliant is brought to you by AT&T Ford built for Texas built for you the University of North Texas proud partner of the Dallas Cowboys Miller Lite the only beer of the Cowboys it's Miller time and by Reliant, an NRG company. This segment is brought to you by the Dallas Morning News. Nobody does sports like Sports Day. Your home for complete Dallas Cowboys coverage. I feel like we just uh, we put more emphasis on getting the ball this year, and um, you know we're attacking the ball, being aggressive on all passes this year. Welcome back to the. 
Eminem Show, McCarthy and Moore, David Moore, the Dallas Morning News. Some do the other order, but okay. <laughs> SportsDayDFW.com. And uh, how about we talk about Cowboys and Patriots and uh, two teams, well, every team in the league, loves to take the football away. This team is doing it just about as well as any team in the league right now. But let's talk turnover differential. How big a factor is that for these two? Sure. Teams? And every coach stresses that, right? I mean, you, you, you're not going to come across a coach that doesn't. But it's about implementing it into your practice routine and finding ways to reinforce it that resonate with your players where you get results. And you go back, to me this is fascinating, you go back over the last 52 years, uh, I don't think it will surprise anyone that Bill Belichick teams rank at the top on turnover ratio in that span. Number two, Mike McCarthy and Pete Carroll are tied. And you want to go through that list, 16 of the top 19 coaches on that list in the last 52 years that have the best turnover ratio, 16 of 19 have won Super Bowls. So it really is the most important formula. And Mike McCarthy will tell you it is the number one thing he looks at. Going into this game, Dallas currently ranks number two in the NFL at a plus seven behind Buffalo. Very quickly, Dallas has made the playoffs four times in the last 13 years. Each of those times, they had a plus turnover ratio. You know, and I factor in uh, not only on turnovers, but also special teams turnovers. And that could be like a fake or a blocked punt. And when the last time the Cowboys went up to Foxborough, it was a Matthew Slater, a nine-time Pro Bowler, mind yeah. you, Matthew Slater, who got the blocked punt. That was the, basically the winning play in that game. There's also a missed field goal in that game, and there were some return issues. Uh, Bill Belichick teams are outstanding on special teams. Uh, that has always been an emphasis for him. And that was a big part, you know, that last time Dallas went up there, they lost 13 to nine. It was the unraveling of their special teams. That and the fact they played in a monsoon where the, with, with a driving rain and 16 mile per hour winds and a wind chill of 27. None of that should be a factor this weekend. It, the weather report is it should be mid to upper 60s and a pretty nice day. How about uh, just the fact you're, you're playing against a Patriots team that has been so successful the last couple of decades, and there's not a lot of other teams in this league that have gone up there and been successful. No, there aren't. And uh, Dallas hasn't played them that often. But uh, since Jerry Jones has owned the team, I believe the franchise is 0-5 against Bill Belichick coach New England teams. Uh, so they have not beaten them. Um, and, and there's, you know, there are a lot of good things going on with this Dallas team right now. Uh, offense is getting a lot of accolades as far as how complete they are, how dominant they can be. But you go up and face a New England team with Bill Belichick and his reputation of taking away what the offense likes to do best and putting them in difficult spots. You win this game, it really burnishes your credentials going forward, I think. All right, David Moore, we appreciate it. And up next on the Mike McCarthy Show, Will McClay is here. We go to the film room. This segment was brought to you by the Dallas Morning News. Nobody does sports like Sports Day. Your home for complete Dallas Cowboys coverage. This segment is brought to you by Windstar World Casino and Resort, the casino of the Dallas Cowboys. Welcome back to the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy. Bill Jones now joined by Will McClay as we break out the Telestrator and take an up-close look at this Patriots defense. And a couple of guys we're going to look at. How about we start with the safety, Kyle Duggar? Yeah, unique player. Uh, you know, when you talk about the Patriots defense, that's the do-your-job mantra. And we'll show a safety showing up in the run game uniquely here. They're going to try and run the zone game, all right, and try and get a hat on a hat. But what kills that is Duggar right here and getting penetration. You're going to see him take on a fullback and make the ball bounce. Take a look at it and having it allows them to play multiple personnel groups here. All right. Now they're going to run the ball. He stuns the fullback, knocks him back, and now they have a tackle for a minimum gain showing up in the run game. All right, so there's one example of him. Now, uh, here's another one of him. And, of course, they're going to be key in on the running backs for the Cowboys, both Zeke and Tony Pollard. He's a key guy, right? Absolutely. You want us to talk about him showing up in the run game. Here's your safety here. They got a 6-1 front. They got bodies on all the blockers. What he is is a running back on the defense. He's going to key the running back. You're going to see a bunch of trash in there, but him track the ball carrier. Let's take a look at it and watch him here. All right, they're going to get motion. They're going to do all their little deals here. All right, he's going to show up in the box. 
He tracks the ball carrier. He's the free hitter because of the number of bodies they have on the defensive front. One of those new age safeties in this league that plays the run, a big 217 pounder out of Lenore Ryan. How about number nine, their big free agent acquisition out of Grand Valley State, Matthew Judon. Matthew Judon, 6'3", 275, runs a 4'6", six, six and a half sacks. The guy that you have to count for in the pass rush. So they're going to go play action to slow him down. They're going to show the zone scheme here. They're going to go here. They're going to pull the blocker, and they're going to try and block him with two people. Let's watch him recognize and not take the cheese on the play action and get after the quarterback with two people blocking him. There you go. He sees it's not a run play, takes two blockers, and that's a very quick sack on a guy that gets the ball out quick. Early recognition there, and they play him all along that defensive line? Yes, they play him all over the defensive line. Now we'll take another look at pass rush here. Now what they're going to do is get you by scheme. They've got six rushers, one, two, three, four, five, six, against six protectors. You'll see the six protectors. But what they're going to do is they're going to pop out, and you're going to see Judon take advantage of his matchup here. All right? Two guys are going to pop out. It's going to confuse the blocking scheme, make the quarterback move. Now let's watch 6'3", 275. Nice hit on the quarterback, which results in an interception. A little sample of what the Cowboys are facing on Sunday, thanks to Will McClay. Now let's hear what the Cowboys are saying in that locker room. Um, we got we to gotta play a, a clean game. Um, I think previously in the past couple of weeks, you know, we've had some mistakes. Uh, but against this team, we're not going to we're not going to be able to make those mistakes. Uh, they're very fundamentally sound. Um, they give you a, a couple different looks. Uh, you know, they got a lot of linebackers that can play also D line, so uh, they move the guys around a little bit. So um, I mean, you just gotta make sure you you're in your playbook and your and your film uh, a little extra this week. And they all play hard and they play together, so it's a really good all around defense and. Um, you know, they play together as a team, and we got to be ready to go. And I'm now joined by Isaiah Stanback to take an up-close look at Mac Jones, Josh McDaniels, and this Patriots offense. Break it down here on the Telestrator, Isaiah. Listen up, y'all. Everybody's asking the question, how good is this rookie Mac Jones? And I can tell you, he's pretty good. He has 71% completion rate, one of the top in the league, but it's for good reason. Josh McDaniels, he is in his bag just like Kellen Moore has been in his bag, and it's because he's putting this young man in a situation to be successful no matter what the coverage. Let me show you guys the example here. As soon as he comes into the line of scrimmage here against the Houston Texans, he wants to identify where the safeties are. Boom, he has two safeties. So as soon as he acknowledges where the two safeties are, guess what? Josh McDaniels already has a play that beats that. So what is that play? Here on this play, you're going to see Hunter Henry, one of the most dangerous guys, going to run a seam. What does that seam do? That seam puts stress on these two guys. Right behind that, you're going to see the receiver come right here. This is their cover three beater, all right? And then I also want you guys to pay attention. He's going to run a hitch route up top, which really turns into a block as his running back comes into the backfield, out the backfield, and he gets a block too. So they have a blitz beater right here coming on, this, on the shallow screen, and they also have the cover, three, the cover two beater, which takes the seam right here, and then you also have a cover three beater. No matter what, what defense faces us, we are gonna be, he's going to be successful, and this is why these guys are so dangerous. As we see the play, the play uh, run out here, boom, right here, perfect. You got the seam route, which is open right now. Two high safety, this is where the ball should be coming, right in that hole. If those guys went to single high safety, he has the beater coming behind these guys. And if there was a blitz off the edge for whatever reason, these guys are blocking on the screen right here. This dude has a play to beat everything. We're going to have to be in our bag. Dan Quinn, make things muddy for him. But that's his, his play right there. He was just too late. Just late on the ball. The delivery. Absolutely. Right. So that's life with a rookie quarterback in this league, right? It is. All right. It is. All right. So it's something to look forward to with Mac Jones, the rookie quarterback of the Patriots. We appreciate it, Isaiah. Stand back. And up next here on the Mike McCarthy Show, Show. The coach rejoins us and we take an up close look at this Patriots defense. Welcome back to the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy, as the coach rejoins us here in the Globe Life studio talking about uh, these New England Patriots. Let's turn our attention to the Patriots defense. It's uh, been something just through the years, the makeup of this New England team. You, can, you touched on it earlier in the show. You really don't know week to week from a scheme standpoint what they might throw at you. What do you expect when you see a, a New England uh, as far as their defense is concerned? I mean, the way I view them, I mean, I, I think their origins are still what they've always been. You know, they're they're going to you know have a base of a you know a three-four or four-three, and where 
we talk about overlapping the edges to make sure, make it very difficult to run, you know, and very difficult to have keeps and things outside the pocket. So um, they're really going to challenge you on your route breaking, you know, on your route break, breaking points, uh, particularly the top of the stems. So, you know, they, they've been playing this way for a long time. So they're, they're, they're very in, in tune with uh, what you're trying to do. And so, um, once, like as I said earlier, this is going to be a real battle. Uh, a lot of second, third reaction plays. What about uh, one of their additions this year, Matt Judon, uh, who obviously had a number of good years with the Ravens with a couple of straight Pro Bowls the last two seasons. He's off to a good start this year with six and a half sacks. Uh, absolutely. Uh, definitely bringing it, you know, bringing, bringing the pressure in, it, in the edge and so forth. But, you know, I, I, I do like the way they, they move the front around. Uh, so you're seeing a little more of that. Uh, so this will, be, this will be a great challenge for our, for our offensive line. You know, uh, the way you're running the football right now is is really impressive. Uh, doesn't it, it seems like things come a lot easier when you can run the football, whether it's the college level, the pro level, it doesn't matter. If you can run the football, you can do a whole lot more things offensively. Oh, definitely. I mean, everybody talks about the word balance, uh, but, uh, you know, to run it when you want to run it and then run it when you have to run it, I mean, it's obviously different. And, you know, just, just uh, you know, our ability to, to play run pass at, at the line of scrimmage and, and just being smart, uh, you know, playing the numbers, playing the angles, and our, our players have executed a very high level, particularly the last two weeks. So uh, this is definitely going to be a huge challenge in New England. You know, we've talked about Zeke uh, and and the kind of shape he's in and so forth. You could really see it in that uh, game last week uh, on the touchdown run to the outside, just the speed to get to the outside, and of course, so physical between the tackles too. Oh, definitely. I mean, he's uh, he brings it every week, and yeah, no, he's in great shape. Uh, you can just really see the commitment that that he's you know what he's put into it in the off season and really through through, through training camp. Uh, you know I you know I thought he had a very smooth training camp. I mean di didn't have too many bumps or you know things that that held him back and, that, and that's stuff to do obviously at the running back position. But you know I, I think the one-two punch with Zeke and Tony has been awesome. The uh, turnover differential is so huge, and uh, of course you're plus seven right now, and have multiple games on defense with two or more uh, turnovers. But when you look at this Patriots defense, J.C. Jackson, mm -hmm. one of their cornerbacks, had nine picks last year, and that's something that this Patriots defense is known for too. Right? Uh, definitely, I mean they, they play a lot of bump and run, and you know when they do play zone, they play with good vision. So uh, they're going to challenge you. I mean they're going to challenge our routes. Um, and this will, this will be an excellent, excellent opportunity for, for our receivers. But, uh, yeah, definitely, I, I love the way they play in the back end. So, really looking forward to this uh, opportunity. All right. We wrap up the Mike McCarthy Show when we come back in just a moment. They do a great job of game planning against offenses and taking away strengths. And, and so, uh, as we go through this process through this week, I think we're going to have to do a really good job of honing in our game plan, feeling very confident and also understand that, Adjustments may need to be applied throughout the game, and guys got to be ready, ready to adjust. So he's he's a guy that we've watched a lot of tape on with our young gunners. You know, we have a library, all his work over his career, that's very inspirational, very productive. Um, and they got Justin Bethel on the other side, who's been in some Pro Bowls for special teams. You know, Cody Davis, a safety, Brandon King, um, Brandon Bolden. They they got some they got some real guys, and um, it'll be a great matchup for us for them. Final couple of minutes of the Mike McCarthy Show powered by Reliant Energy. All right, my unsung star this week, it's Cedric Wilson. Oh, yeah. Anytime that you've got a guy who catch, makes a spectacular catch, the 35-yard catch, he also ran with the ball for six yards, and he throws a pass at 22 yards. You like my choice? Love it. I love it. Uh, I, I was asked a question the other day, you know, what, what all can you do with Cedric Wilson? I said, I don't know what we can't do with Cedric. He's... Uh, God, he, he can do it all. Special teams, you know, offense. You know, he, he's so versatile, uh, super instinctive and aware. Uh, just, just, you know, just really, a, truly, a great member of our football team. And uh, he's contributed on special teams. Had 52 snaps last week. Has really stepped up with Michael Gallup being out of the lineup. All right, we close with special teams because special teams is so important uh, to any game. But when you're facing the New England Patriots, it's something that they really stress too. That definitely. I mean, they'll have more. They have more special teams, just you know, focused players than uh, anybody will face this year. And, you know, they have parental, parental uh, all pros uh, in the special team. So th this will be our biggest challenge from a personnel standpoint on special teams. So I know uh, John Fossil and the troops are really looking forward to it. And and how do you feel like things have gone special teams wise as far as your core special teamers so far? This oh, year? we're getting better. I mean, I, th I think our young guys that. Uh, 
you know, to get more and more opportunities, consistent weeks is, is obviously important in their growth. And uh, we definitely took a step this past week against New York. All right. Good luck in Foxborough against those Patriots, Thank Coach. You. We appreciate it. We appreciate all of you joining us here for the Mike McCarthy Show. And we will see you again next week. The Mike McCarthy Show, presented by Reliant, was brought to you by Ford, built for Texas, built for you. Bank of America, the official bank of the Dallas Cowboys. Miller Lite, the only beer of the Cowboys. It's Miller time. Geico, switch today and see all the ways you could save. And by NFL Game Pass. You'll never miss a game again. Enjoy full and condensed game replays from week one to the Super Bowl.